coin on. Hey there, YouTube coin community. It's Dustin with CoinOp. And today for our variety quick look, we are going to take a quick look at the 1982 No P Roosevelt dime. So let's dive right on in. In 1982, all of your Roosevelt dimes should have a mint mark. Now in Philadelphia, they accidentally released a bunch of them that do not have their mint mark. And these are very, very easy to spot. You can clearly see these. You do not need any magnification to see one of these if you happen to come across one of them. These are clear as day. When you are looking at the obverse of your Roosevelt dime, right above the date, on the 1982s, right above the date, is where the mint mark should be. Now, these were minted in Denver, and of course, for your proof series, they were minted in San Francisco, but the Philadelphia ones should all have a P mint mark. There should be a P right there. Now, some of these got out of the mint without that P mint mark, and actually, it wasn't some of them. Quite a few of them got out of the mint. Uh, I was estimated within the first year that between eight to 10,000 of these were found. And these were found pretty early on. Uh, these were first discovered in December of 1982. Just shy of a year after these were released, they started to turn up. Now, when these first started turning up, they were turning up in the Ohio area. And there was even an amusement park, the Cedar Point Amusement Park, that gave some of these out in change. So if you were lucky enough to be shopping in the Ohio area late 1982, well, chances are you might have had one of these and didn't even know it. Now, as I stated, a bunch of these did get out. And because of that, it keeps the values fairly low. So if you were to be in the market to purchase one of these, well, you can get a very beautiful example for a few hundred dollars, or you can get a decent circulated example for way less than a hundred dollars. And that makes this a very enjoyable and wonderful variety for any collection, especially a young collector that would like a coin that should not have left the mint the way it did. This is a perfect one. This is a wonderful die variety. Now, if you happen to find one of these, if you were to go over to PCGS's website and take a look at their price guide, now do keep in mind the values listed on PCGS price guide are typically for PCGS graded certified examples. If yours is raw, if it has not been graded by a third party grader, well then the value is gonna be a little bit less when you go to sell it. When they are graded and slabbed by a third party authenticator, they typically will sell for more value. Just keep that in mind when you are looking at the values listed on a website such as PCGS Price Guide. Anyhow, if you are over there looking at PCGS Price Guide, you will see that in circulated conditions, the 1982 No P starts out at around $15 and goes all the way on up to around $100 to $105 in a circulated condition. Now, uncirculated examples start out at around $130 and go all the way up to $2,500. So these can be quite valuable. I definitely suggest keeping your eyes open for these. These do turn up all the time. A bunch of them made it out of the mint. So these can be found. These are found in pocket change. These are found coin searching. And as I had stated, you do not need any magnification to see one of these. So as you are getting your change, this is one that you can glance down at your change and look and see if your 1982 dime is missing its mint mark or not. And again, this is just a wonderful one to search for. So while you are coin searching and getting all of your change together or going through a big jug of change, make sure you keep your eye open for this one. Well, everyone, we definitely hope you enjoyed this video. We definitely hope it gives you something to look for, to search for with the Roosevelt Dime 
series. If you enjoyed this video, do us a huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. The more that you interact with our video, the more it encourages YouTube to share our video with more and more people. Also by subscribing. If you are not yet subscribed to our channel, click on that subscribe button. And while you are at it, click on the bell. That way you get notified immediately when we upload new content. Well, everyone, until next time, have fun. Thank you.